Hey, what's going on, everyone? Then we got the weekly. Start off here with the dollar. Still got resistance over the top of it. And now we got even more resistance as the 8 is crossed over. So we got a, uh, two lines to get over. And it looks like a rounding top. Still working with a double top as well. As far as the daily, just the opposite. It's just coming into a uh, a bullish retracement across of the daily chart, across the thirty-four into support. So we're gonna have to see who wins. Is it the weekly? that's bearish and double top above it or is it the daily looks like we'll find out pretty soon mm. let's see how we close the day day close with the double bottom slightly higher low pretty dramatic too so it looks bullish on the intraday, bearish on the weekly. We'll see what happens. I got ultimate resistance at 10181 for the next previous break, which is uh, this uh, double top here. So we'll see who wins. Uh, double top here. We're going to a large top here. What if this whole thing is just a bearish retracement? So that's what I'm saying on the weekly. Is that just a bearish retracement into resistance? Sure does look that way. But we might get some uh, more fight out of this thing to challenge uh, resistance on the way up. So. That's the direction it's going on the daily. S&P. wonder if we're ever going to find a top. Looks like we uh, make it a little higher today. <clears throat> Confirming that a uh, hammer, not a hanging man. Broke previous highs. Now we got support again. See what happens. Pretty steep, steep line of support, though. You always got to worry when you see these steep, steep lines of support. Because uh, price is liable to just swing past it without any uh, resistance. So, it's very well due for correction, whether it's just a couple days or a week. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Let's see, uh, let's take a look at the hourly. Hourly looks like a double top put in. So that's what we can look forward to. But if support can hold, especially this uh, reversal bar right here. So I'm looking at support coming down in. See if it'll hold. You got lot, lots of uh, support here on this reversal bar. This whole pattern was a reverse head and shoulders and it broke out. Broke out, came into support, and then we'll see what happens here. This could be just the left shoulder and this makes a, a head and shoulders top too, so... Never, never know. Definitely weeklies on the up and up. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Four hour looks like a uh, falling star. So is the throwback going to hold the uh, EMA 8? 
or is it going to crumble? It's not a perfect falling star, by the way, but it has that trading action. Uh, this wick needs to be just a tiny bit longer to be uh, two and a half times the body. Let's see, let's see. Just watch for those double tops to come in. Let's see what we got in the hourly on the Dow. Still hugging support from previous highs. Made a new high today. Close, we're still closing below previous highs, so um, is this the start of the pushback? Let's see. Close below previous highs on the daily chart. Did not notice that earlier. Those lines are really steep, too. I mean, look how steep that is. <laughs> it's due for a correction, damn it. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, I got the NASDAQ uh, closing below previous highs, making a, a lower high. Uh, it's got plenty of support. Looks like it just had a flat top break. Closing on its highs. Hmm, that looks like a bullish piercing pattern almost, and the continuation's getting over 50% of this candle. So NASDAQ's got some uh, pretty bullish moves right here. We'll see if it can break previous highs. You can see the bullish retrace, uh, the bullish piercing pattern wasn't quite it, it opens down and then it moves all the way up the previous candle 50 percent of the body and it fell short here but now that we got a continuation see if we can get a previous high break and that'd be a nice uh little bullish piercing pattern maybe for the blow off phase i'm waiting for that blow off phase of this market so there's no way I would chase this thing. It's look how steep those lines are. It's just unbelievable. Absolutely no support when you got steep lines like that. I got support way down here. That's a pretty good correction. If it started today. <laughs> I don't know where these things are going. Maybe I can do one of these things again. High level consolidation. But it's way steep. I just, uh, I would not chase these things and be all excited that it's going to go on forever. Let's... <clears throat> Looks like we've got a little support searching on Shanghai after the nice the nice run from this uh, candle looks like support it's searching for support on the way down I got support here on previous highs and nonetheless pretty nice move from that candle see if we can hold support and keep on going So far for the week, we're putting in a bearish Harami. It's only Monday.
nice hammer here for a weekly. I imagine this is going to uh, find support and then have another flat top break and maybe challenge uh, the previous high up here. That's a uh, very bullish candle, almost perfect. Nikai on a week, still holding that little pattern, trade outside that pattern. 10 year, that looks bearish. You got a descending triangle, still intact. That flat bottom is getting heavier and heavier. And the bottom's just gonna break down. Can't hold all that, that negative uh, pressure. I could be wrong, uh, you know, never say never. 250 high break. Could take you to the next level. But right now, I think it's uh, searching for some support. I got support at 218 on top of that gap and then the bottom of the gap. 211. If it goes past that, watch support 50% of the candle here. 2 o'clock high. So that's potential right there. Otherwise, that bullish move ain't going to last. If it goes below 2, it might take forever to consolidate again. You never know. Looks like on the daily it's bouncing off support. So we might get a little uh, revenge factor up to the other side. It's opening inside the gap. I got resistance at uh, 240 and then a bunch of resistance at uh, 245 almost. Previous highs or previous lows 244, 245. Closing above previous highs to get that ball rolling 250. There you go. See if this can't get on the other. It's natural course of return, back and forth, pinball in it, corkscrewing until it gets really tight in that. But I imagine it's going to hit resistance with the vengeance. The eight's already crossed over. I'm thinking a bearish retracement here. It's going to cut short over here somewhere. It's a descending triangle. Um... A little crude. Still hanging on support. It looks like it closed a uh, reversal bar. Pretty tight. Not f perfect, but pretty. Uh, it looks like it broke previous highs and closed all the way back in for a nice uh, inverted hammer style right over support. So, look for a continuation, pop over resistance on the short term, uh, 56.20 on up, for crude, uh, but that could be a continuation also, even though it closed above support, watch for previous low breaks, taking out this uh, reversal bar, making a continuation. But we do have an ascending triangle on this one. Oh, I can't go deeper. <clears throat> Just got to have a flat top break. I'm still waiting for... We broke 50. Now we got to see 60. I'm still waiting. Been forever and a day. Big consolidation. Let's see if we can get 60 out of this thing before it turns around. The more it stays in that channel, the more momentum it loses and liable to come back down. But trade outside the, the pattern.
call has broken down, broken previous lows, so this is going to take a while to recover on this bad boy. You can see the three bar pattern up here, started it all off, broke lines of support, came back into resistance, bam, straight across. You can see the rejection. Broke previous highs, got rejected. That's your that's your cue. Steel. Steel had a big old head fake, I thought. And it's uh, recovering now. But it does have to close over previous highs to make this uh, worthwhile. And that's in reference to CLF as well. I'm looking for a, a much more bounce out of CLF to follow suit and get back above previous highs for support. Uh, gold. Looks like gold's being rejected by the 34. Bad start of the week. We got the EMA 8 all the way down here. So, I had a question about um, the EMA 8 crossing the 13, and and why, do, <clears throat> why don't I use those as Momo? Well, I'm trading off the weekly, so that's the first reason. Uh, what I'm using these lines for is support and resistance. So, I got support all the way down here. Resistance, it just hit it. Um... The cross is good. I got a lot more support now. Uh, but the thing is, that's just an indication of where the Momo is, where the momentum's going. It's just an indication. Uh, right now, as we speak, we got a cross, but now we got a a uh, a pullback, and it looks like it's going to be. I don't think the pullback's over yet. Uh, the daily. I got some falling star action. Look for previous low breaks into support. And make sure that support holds. I'm using I'm using those lines as support. You can you can say that uh, since we have a cross, we have momentum in that certain direction because my ultimate support on uh, on this uh, chart is my 8. So even though we do have a cross, I can't say, oh yeah, it's definitely going to be going up forever now because right now we're going to experience a uh, pullback. I don't know if the first lines of support are going to hold or the second lines, uh, but I imagine some kind of a stair step into support dragging the 13 back up uh, as support bounces. Um, hopefully we'll get a high levels consolidation. Uh, but we do have heavier support, but on a longer term, price is probably going to come back and meet support somewhere along this line. So hopefully this first line of support will hold. Um, but it also, uh, this cross also tells me maybe a longer term uh, support. But that's all I'm using the lines for. I mean, you can study the crosses and everything and try to anticipate price action. But it's just an indicator. And the indicator is not directly, uh, how do you phrase it? Uh, it's not a direct reflection of price movement. Uh, this is an eight day moving average, which it's just telling me I have eight days of support coming through the 13. And price is what moves these things. So price has gone up. So that's how we get that sharp cross here. But now price is going to come down and find support. I do believe. 
I don't know if it's going to come all the way down here. It has to tell me that by crossing the first lines of support and breaking previous lines of uh, close or highs and lows. So I got a previous low here. If it breaks here, this level will come down into the next line of support, which is 1244. Uh, on this pullback, I don't know where it's going to end up, but I, I definitely want to be above 12 after it's all uh, uh, through. 1200, the magical emotional lines on this chart. 12. I don't think it'll go down that far. I think 1220 is a good number to stay above on gold. Um, I think we'll definitely experience a pullback. Uh, I got the bearish retracement coming in on uh, the, the 60 minute now. So maybe it'll be short and sweet. It all happened pretty fast. We do have a double bottom. It could come into resistance, double back, make an opposing point so that we get a line. Of some kind of a support with uh, higher lows and then we can come back and challenge that high right across gold's nemesis on the upside that 34 so look for previous high breaks look for previous low breaks back into support uh, we got rejected so far over the 34. And notice how I mentioned uh, the volatility comes in when this stuff happens. Right across the 34, and you can see that volatility on that uh, 60 minute. I mean, it pretty just dr dropped like a rock. I mean, we haven't seen that kind of volatility for quite a bit. It's an hourly chart. There's the election. Oh, no, that wasn't the election, was it? What was that? February 15th. That's pretty volatile. But that cross over the 34 on a weekly chart is what I'm looking for. That price action over the 34. Uh, maybe this will cover uh, through the night. Maybe we'll close up here. Uh, or not close, but maybe we'll get above here and start uh, gaining back what we lost in an instant. Uh, but it did have, it did hit that 34. Uh, I was hoping to get across the 34, but uh, right now we are rejected by the 34 on the weekly chart. Or rejected. So I'm thinking it's going to come back into support. Uh, we have a left shoulder here. We have a V bottom. V bottoms don't work. I need an opposing point to make a line uh, for price action. To make a, a price pattern, we need two lines. So hopefully this pullback will be really, really fast. We can have a very nice... Uh, upward pattern but I got a left shoulder I got a V bottom I need a right shoulder I need some kind of a pullback uh, to complete this bottom pattern I want it to be above the 34 uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen as far as it looks on the daily uh, the intraday I got an outside day. I got a double top. I'm closing below uh, uh, the 8. So I knocked out first lines of support. I got support 10 or 12.45. Let's hold it there. A good pullback to 12.45 and then shoot right over that 34. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. But so far rejected.
see what happens. Looking for support. Silver, same thing. Kind of got rejected. But silver, on the other hand, <clears throat> is going to be finding support in a major way. Hopefully it's a real short and sweet pullback to 18. Just real short and sweet. But uh, also you have to notice how far away we are from our 8. And if that breaks down, I got thin lines of support at 18 and uh, major support down at, let's call it 1750. And then that would complete the right shoulder. If we held support just like that. So watch, your, uh, watch yourselves, watch those uh, long-term chart patterns forming. Uh, we had a reverse head and shoulders down here, made a top, consolidated. Now we have a reverse head and shoulders here. Bottom, bottom. So let's get through this, this pullback. Short and sweet, what we're looking for, short and sweet. I want silver to hold 18. That's where uh, that would be very nice. Copper still rejected, still holding its, still holding its own. It's trying to get over that eight. So have plenty of resistance on the way up. <clears throat> it's got to close above fifty percent of the previous candle to get that Momo back. So there you go. Uh, GDX, still watching those right shoulders, kind of deeper, dug in deeper today. Those right shoulders should be coming in. See the left shoulder? See the V bottom? I need that opposing point. I want, I want, to, it needs to hold. Hold the line. Watching those right shoulders come in. So it looks like the miners were like, uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, leading indicator for uh, the gold and silver market, which is topsy-turvy because isn't the uh, gold and silver supposed to be the futures market? It's just weird. But anyways, the miners are coming in all the way. So what can we expect for gold and silver on the grand scale of things? I think maybe we can anticipate it coming back around. You can see the reverse head and shoulders. And then you look at the reverse head and shoulders everywhere. I don't know, the ultimate bummer and the ultimate just burn would be, uh, you know, the dollar coming off that daily bullish move on a continuation flat top break. So dollar keeps going. S&P, Dow, and NASDAQ just keep going for six months straight. This reverse head and shoulders, which is now completing the right shoulder, not confirmed yet. Um, what if that just breaks down and this whole reverse head and shoulders we have been waiting for forever to complete just single-handedly just falls over? That would be the ultimate burn for this year. For me, anyways. Because um, it's obviously bullish. I mean, what else can you say? I'm going to see these pullbacks really short and sweet. See what happens. Got plenty of support down here. I want to see a double back from here. All week. Comes down the first day all week. It climbs all the way back up. That would be pretty sweet. We need to get above 
on any churn above 50% of the previous candle. So let's get through this week. Mm. Pretty nasty breakdown for Jay Nuggy. It's holding support on this left here. Man, they brought that down hard. Probably running with this left shoulder now. Before it was this left shoulder, that right shoulder, breakout. Now we got the ultimate big time left shoulder. Now the right shoulder. Let's make sure we hold support. Ugh. I didn't see that until just now. Jaina got obliterated. Damn. Let's see that monthly chart. Make sure we're still in the game. Look at that inverted hammer. That's pretty bomb right there. <laughs> when is a month close? Closes tomorrow. Man. Inverted hammer on JNUG. Buy into support. Damn. Whew. Let's see what happens with this bad boy next month. It's got to hold support. Anything can happen. That thing, whole thing can break down. All right, left shoulder, V bottom, right shoulder. Let's see uh, a double back here for the rest of the week. JNUG. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh, my God. Bitcoin is not stopping. I figured it's going to hit resistance, back off, make a dog leg. Not a chance. Not a chance. It's stayed above previous highs for a certain amount of time now. Man. Money is not in stocks. Money is definitely in this Bitcoin. This thing's going to break out hard. It's already above previous highs. It's above all-time highs. Came down to all-time highs, doubled back, and now it's ready to break previous highs again. Man. Wish I had some, some more Bitcoin. That's pretty badass right there. Whew. Watch that break above 12. Uh... AG. AG broke that right shoulder. It held the line forever. Be careful on AG. This thing has to double back real soon. Coming into danger zone. Held that pattern so nicely. Now it's closed to blow. For the first time that whole time. That was a bearish retracement right there. Hold on to your shorts on this. Hmm. Daily does not look good at all. Weekly. Weekly's got a hold. That right shoulder's all the way brought in. Don't let that thing break down. The whole pattern can collapse. And this whole thing would be a bearish retracement into another leg down. Damn. Make sure you hold. That looked really nasty.
I got a thin line of support on that line and it's already broken. The last line of support I got is the uh, previous lows. So maybe it'll give it a tap, 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 tappy. But I'm not looking at the raw data either. I don't know if that's if that painted the tape at the end of the day. I think it was trading after hours for a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't look good on the daily. <clears throat> Nugget's trying to... Or uh, NAK's trying to get a... Uh, a little bottom working. It's already tapped down support from previous high breaks. Let's see if we can get a, a some kind of retracement back in the two range. That's what I'm looking at for NAK. USLV has got to put that right shoulder in. Coming into resistance. URRE. <clears throat> this looks bullish coming off the start of the week. We had that break. Came all the way back into support. Popped into resistance again. Now we got a double uh, two bar pattern here. Uh, not fully bullish, not fully encompassing, but it's it's uh, piercing 50% of the body of the previous candle. So it's got Momo. I got a double bottom. I got higher low. Uh, watch the previous uh, downtrend break. See if we can get over that balance point. That long balance point from a previous low to a previous high. That point. Got to be bullish on URRE. That is a nice J curve coming in. Just like, just like uh, NAK. Watch that J curve on URRE. Let's see the rest of the uranium. Looks like URA found support for the week. See what happens. See if a continuation happens. Same as UEC. Uh, I got bearishness on this pullbacks. I was hoping this was going to hold support, but it didn't do it. Broke right on through. I got level lines of support at 5. If it doesn't hold 5, it's it's liable to come all the way back down into previous patterns or previous pattern breaks. Looks like NGD had a bearish retracement. Got to hold that line. Oh, these are all looking terrible. At least BTG already broke uh, uh, previous lines of resistance. Came into the next line. Came back into support. Let's see if it'll hold. Right now, we're working with a double top. BGZ, see if this is holding. So far, so good. AUI. Man. Watch for previous low breaks on uh, AUI. Could also it looks pretty bearish. I mean, what can you what can you do when it just falls off the map like that? Need to make a higher low. It was looking for an opposing point. So make sure we have a higher low on it on that fact so it can build. 
break previous highs right over the 34 next time. ABX, oh, lines of support coming in. That's about it. I sold my SVBL because of the Anyways, I sold my uh, SVBL. <clears throat> my internet's a little shaky, so I had to make a pause for a sec. Uh, I sold this bad boy and bought some lithium instead. Uh, I was worried it's going to break previous lows and see another uh, leg down. Oh, my internet. Oh, my internet really pisses me off. Hang on. So, my internet doesn't like me, so let's just rehash. Uh, watching for any bearishness on the dollar as the bearish retracement is coming in on the weekly chart. Because it's a weekly chart, it could take forever. So, But we got bullishness on the daily. Gold. I'm looking for a pullback into support. Uh, if it breaks previous range, it can come down on the next lines of support. 1220 is the potential. And I need it to hold at 1220. And of course, silver. Hopefully, we can get previous highs as support. Turn this thing double back right across the 34. Or, um, come back into support and then double back, back right over the 1850 mark, which is very, very important in the long term chart. 1850. Let's get our momentum back after the first bull run. That's it, guys. Uh, Appreciate you all. Share, like, and comment and let me know what's going on out there. I'll see you.